What's up guys, John here. I uh, haven't made a video in a while. It's been kind of difficult. Um, family and I were thinking of moving, my wife and I, moving our daughter out of California. And so things have just been chaotic and uh, I'm trying to freelance at the same time as well. But I wanted to make a video about how I'm kind of restructuring and changing uh, Subscribestar, how I'm sort of marketing myself and trying to kind of put my money where my mouth is as well as far as some of my own personal beliefs about, um, well, I guess property rights and uh, uh, art as well, and intellectual property. So uh, as many of you may know or may not know, um, I've mentioned it a few times in some previous videos, uh, I am very libertarian in my views. And within libertarianism, there's kind of a divide as far as uh, theory is concerned regarding intellectual property. Is intellectual property valid or is intellectual, intellectual property not valid? And I fall in the camp that it is not valid. And uh, I want to kind of put my money where my mouth is, like I said, in that belief. So the idea that the libertarian critique of uh, intellectual property, I'll have a link in the descript video description as to kind of the, the document that sort of changed my mind on the subject of intellectual property, written by uh, uh, Stephen Kinsella. And um, essentially the, the, the idea goes, I have an idea and as soon as I put it out there, like, look, I don't have the right to some kind of amorphous idea. If you own all the components and the property that you own, physical, tangible property, and you reconfigure that property into something similar to something I have made, I don't have the right to tell you, no, you can't do that, because that would be me exercising um, authority over your property, your justly gained property. And I fundamentally disagree with that. I believe in strict property rights. And so intellectual property seems to be this weird sort of thing. And I kind of want to, like I said, put my money where my mouth is. So uh, my subscribe star is changing. I'm not going to have, uh, I'm going to still make YouTube videos, so don't worry. A lot of the videos you're going to see are going to be art that I'm going to put on my, um, on my uh, subscribe star, as well as on a website that I'm currently building right now, uh, where I'm going to have all of my art as in the public domain, at least my personal art that I want to put out there. I obviously can't do freelance. The, the work that I'm doing for clients, I can't put that out there for that because they own the rights to that. But anything I personally make that I put on the website and on my Subscribestar will be in, in the public domain, meaning you can use it for whatever you want. Uh, it, and the reason I want to do this is I want to help other people. Um, and it'll be there for free. Like the subscribe star is there just as like a tip jar. Like if you appreciate this, if you're, if you, my goal with this is if you are working on a project, let's say you're doing a Kickstarter or you have a pitch that you need to make, or um, you're, you're doing a book, a book and you need some illustrations in your book or something like that, uh, you can get your idea out with some of the art that I've made. Uh, you don't have to even attribute me if you don't really want to. I don't really care. Um, but you can you can uh, use that art for free, and it might not be exactly what you want, but it'll help you get your idea out there. You know, there's nothing quite the same as like contracting out an artist and getting them to paint exactly what you want to paint. But I understand that not everyone has the money, the time, but they have really good ideas. They have that board game. They have that tabletop RPG. They have that uh, uh, homebrew campaign for a tabletop RPG that they really want to see published and they need art assets for that. And maybe some of the art that I'm going to be producing going forward in my spare time will be helpful for that and you can use it in that. And if you appreciate that, it's just $2 a month to support my Patreon if you appreciate what I'm doing and you want to see and you want to show people that uh, there is an incentive to um, be an artist to be a creative but also be against intellectual property and if you disagree with my stance on this that's fine uh you can go ahead and keyboard warrior warrior all you want in the comment section of my video here i don't really care i'm not going to probably respond to you because i i don't really care i'm going to do what i'm going to do and it doesn't hurt you so i don't know why you care you don't have to you can keep going with intellectual property if you want but i just kind of want to Put, like I said, put my money where my mouth is and uh, uh, try something a little different. So, yeah, 
link to my subscribe star the new and updated version will be in the uh, video description here as well as a link to the article that i read by stefan Kinsella that sort of changed my mind on the subject and i look forward to going forward and maybe helping you um i'd love to, to see like if you use my art in a in a project and uh, it's something really cool i want to see it so um tell me about it i want to i want to see it if you if you do uh do, use something for that but there will be a website coming the subscribe star is already up I'm going to keep making videos, art videos, kind of explaining how I do certain things. That's not changing. And if you want to support that, you can still do so by uh, supporting the uh, the uh, subscribe star page through there. Again, only two bucks a month. I'll probably add some more tiers uh, as we go, which will maybe help me prioritize people. And I have ideas for, you know, as a community there, people that maybe want to see certain things drawn. They'll have a, more of a say and kind of like, how I, I kind of do things. Um, I'm starting out with more like fantasy art because that's what I feel really comfortable with, but maybe we'll switch it to sci-fi or you can talk to me and say like, hey, I'd love to see some like character designs, you know, or I'd love to see monster designs or anything like that. And maybe we can make it happen. So again, links in the video description. And I just want to kind of show people uh, and, and kind of express a libertarian sort of view that I have on property and property rights and uh, show that it can be done and that it's, it's, it's totally feasible and that we don't need IP in order to be creative and innovative uh, people and that everyone can win uh, when we don't try and control the property of other people, the legitimately gained, uh, gained property of other people, when we don't try and control that um, we all we all win and we get more cool things that we all can enjoy so again links will be in the video description and again I, if you use my art and you support me i appreciate it i want to see what you guys do with what i what i make i would love to see it and uh, how it's used and uh, i look forward to making some art and seeing it in cool weird places so anyways i'll see you guys in the next video talk to you later